Yeah, back for another day. Great day today. Everyone's here, everyone's on time. Woo! Oh, bale of straw. Instead of buying those, those tents for the, the bagging unit, yeah. just buy boats. Put okay, so they never come by, so, so they can't take them out. So they can't lose them. Yeah, so they can't lose yeah, them. Yeah, they can't fall out. And they can't fall off okay. with the black nuts. I like that. You know? Yeah. I mean, those pins cost a lot. Yeah, I know. Tell Every me about it. Every time you lose them. Yeah. It's all good. I know it's too far right Ladder, got a ladder? Yeah, we got a ladder. Alright, um. We got small shovels, like small, we got tamper. The tamper, small yeah. shovels, you got the pitchforks, hard rakes. Yeah. How, how far are you? Oh, yeah, go all the way up to the line. Oh, that's it. Cool, well, just enough. We need to just go ahead and fix the problem instead of <laughs> keep on refilling this stuff every day. It's, it's just we haven't had no time. All right, so today is a Thursday and we are going to, uh, we're doing just a lot of trimming around like the perimeter of someone's house. And we have a ditch line. Someone I think crashed into a ditch line and made some rivets really bad in the, uh, in the yard so we got to do topsoil grass seed and straw on that and we have to remove some mulch out of a mulch bed today so that's going to be what we're doing today it's going to take probably a day and a half two days to do this job and um i'll just show you guys when we get there all we're doing is trimming these bushes back around the whole property all the way around the property and then we got mulch in them beds up there that uh it's too deep so the the person that came and did the mulch up there uh, they they put it they put the mulch in about seven eight inches deep so we're actually going to rip a lot of that out make it around two inches deep because with too much mulch in the bed you can get uh mold and moisture and it will actually start killing off the shrubs so um, we're gonna literally just go through all the beds all the way in the front not the ones that we did but the ones that are just around the property and um, just dig all that stuff out but I actually have to run to the store I have to go get a mix can uh, some mix for, for all of our equipment we're out of mix so I'm gonna go run and grab that and then I'll be back and then we'll start filming I'm at the gas station now and I just wanted to show you guys the, the oil that I use for all of my equipment I use the steel silver bottle i don't know what the difference is but this is the stuff i use i buy it by the pack um the whole pack it comes in a six pack the pack is like 60 61 dollars so and i always use 93 fuel anytime that i'm doing anything for my my mowers or any of my actual um weed whackers and stuff like that so let me know what you guys use you guys use regular fuel or anything like that in your equipment let me know i want to know what you guys use uh, but for me it's 93 for my mowers and for my uh my my blowers anything two cycle is is also 93 but uh yeah i'm getting fuel now five gallons and then i'm on my way back to the guys we're gonna be doing this jeff finished the mulch and i'm gonna be grinding these initials out of the concrete here See how this works. Go Gotta grind these initials out this concrete. Oh, no problem. Yeah, ain't nothing. Got it? Hey, oh, yeah, look at that. You need help. No, I got it. I just need you to do that dirt. I told you to just to. How far am I? Good now? Long 
Huh? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. That's is that just one or two? That's just one extension. Yeah, that's good. Heck yeah. All right, day number two, back out here. It's eight o'clock, I met the guys out here. Um, we had to finish doing some trimming on some bushes. We had to trim the back of the property up. And that's pretty much it. And then we have a yard to cut. What's up, Rico? Where's Jeffrey at? He didn't come in. Oh, what? Didn't come in today. I like your hat. Gotta get your J&B one though. What's up, Jeff? You got, the got the camera on you again? <laughs> I'm not to touch the top stuff. I told him to just do the wall. But I do want to take this and just go over the tops and just knock all this top stuff down. All right? Even up here. Like, this is good. You could probably go back a little bit more, but get up higher. You know what I mean? We don't want nothing hanging over us. As high as we can get with them trimmers, get them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's basically so all this, even that, you see that stuff hanging over? Whatever's hanging over, just chop it. This, chop it. You know what I mean? Just just chop it. All this stuff hanging over, <coughs> make it a straight wall. Right here. Too, too much he, wants, he wants this stuff lifted. Yeah. That's if we could take it and, and chop here and just try to lift it as high as possible, just put the extensions on there yeah. and just yeah. go around. And even if we get up there, do you guys bring a ladder? Yeah. Bring a ladder and then we'll get up there with a chain. Or do you bring the post all extension? Yeah. Post all extension. Just get up there I'll and just. Really you see it. you see where it's starting to bend? Yeah. Chop it right there. Pow. Extension for this one. Thank you, sir. Yeah, both yeah. extensions. Alright, cool. Um, do you got an extension? Yeah. Extensions? Alright. You got one. Bring an extension. No, I mean an extension for the. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one. good. Thank you. Just in case I need it. Uh, what else are we doing? That's it. I gotta go draw. How, how am I going to get stuff on? I if you want to go on the other side of the fence, that's fine. That's how, that's Take you a ladder. Okay. But I do want to show you guys what I did yesterday. I grinded out. Somebody, he, the customer just got their driveway put in and some kids came by and put their initials in the concrete. So... I had grinded out the initials on the concrete the best way I can, tried to blend it the best way I could. There's also some initials here. You really can't see anything over here. And there were some and there were some initials over here. These ones over here. <clears throat> these initials over here were really deep. So I had to take it down as as far as you know so you don't see the initials anymore. But here's the one over here. I mean, kind of, it looks better than having initials in the concrete. I would say that. Yeah. So that's what we did yesterday. We trimmed up bushes yesterday. Um, we're just going to finish it all up today and, you know, let this be our last project of the day. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and finish this up or start it at least and go on about our day. Let's do it. <laughs>
this crap all over me. Wood chipping. Man. So right now, I'm up in here. Whew. I'm up here getting all this stuff out of this tree. Cutting it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Stuff's everywhere. Cutting it back as far as I can. So up here, I'm up in the center here. Right up here, I'm cutting all this out and I'm gonna basically just make a clean cut to where all this stuff falls down. All right, let's do it. Look at this. And vines are everywhere. Mm. 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 Thing was longer than a tapeworm. All right, so I put two extensions on this. This is a. Uh, it's heavy, but I can get all the way up there. I can get about. Is that 20 feet up? Something like that. Let's see. Look at that. I can get all the way up there. It's heavy. What? This thing's got a little hook on the back of the pole saw. Pull branches down. I thought it was pretty cool. All right, so this is the end of the project. I actually had to leave a little bit earlier. Um, the guys, they ended up finishing this up. They got a lot of these tree branches and everything from over, over the top of the property. Uh, I actually had to leave. My son has a uh, football game. Uh, seven, it's got a seven on seven practice and stuff like that. But um, I had to literally, uh, why well, I, I didn't have to. I wanted to go to his game. So I left the guys here, let them finish a project, and I went to the to the game, watched my son. And uh, that's just one thing from owning a company that, you know, you're allowed to do. You know, you can kind of do what you want to do, you know, when you own your own company. You can take off certain things. You can, you know, have the freedom to kind of do what you want to do. And that's my biggest thing with owning a business is I get to kind of just be me. You know, I, no one can control me or tell me what to do or how to do it. I get to do everything the way I want to do it. So... Yeah, but this is the finished product here. The guys, they cleaned the whole fence. I know you guys seen the fence line before. But it cleared the whole fence line. It looks really good. There's a deer over there, Ian, right now. See him over there? Or it's a girl deer. I'm going to walk over there and see if she'll be nice to me. Look, see? Look at that deer. Big deer, too. We see deers all the time. This is the fence line though. Looks really good. Proud of my guys for doing this. We got a little deer. I wanna see if it runs from me or if it attacks me, one of the two. Oh yeah, got on there. All right, well, I'm gonna show you some clips of my son. He did pretty good. He plays cornerback. Uh, he plays for the high school uh, sophomore. He starts varsity, really proud of him for that. And, um, yeah, just finish up the job for today, and I'm probably gonna go to the shop and see what the guys are doing right now.
people are maniacs, man. It's crazy. That guy in the van just got over right in front of me. People are nuts driving. We gotta be careful. All right, this is the pizza spot right here, Gino's Pizzeria. They got pretty good pizza. I'm gonna get this pizza and let's see. All right, guys. So I don't know if I mentioned this to you or not, but um. Remember in, in my last video I had told Jeff and Rico if they watched the video that I would buy them lunch for three days. So Rico, he watched the video and he brought it up to me. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm bringing him some lunch. I, uh, I brought a big enough pizza for everybody to eat though. So we're all going to eat some good lunch. I bought Rico lunch yesterday too. So there he is. I owe him one more day. He's gonna share. He's gonna share this with us, us, though. If not, I'm firing his ass. We're gonna find out right now. Rico, number two. Got one more to go, right? That's it. One more to go. Yeah. You're gonna share that with us, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm messing with. You. That's right. Yeah, he's in there. Oh yeah, that's what I'm to see. Clean trucks. Oh, it's just, just. That's what I'm talking just, about. I mean, there's no garbage in it. Yeah. Blew yes, out sir. the mats. Blew out all the dust out of it. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, it has. Have a look at it. First and Monday morning. Uh huh. That's right. Give us a better start to our week, right? No, it just gives you a better attitude. Yeah, exactly. It does. It brings the morale up. Yeah. You know. I mean, out of, the, mm -hmm. out of the truck that don't need to be in exactly. here. Exactly. Ooh. Ooh. That's money, dude. So, does anybody know what this is actually for? Let me know if you guys know what this is for. Yeah, Whoever stop wins. Stop you from crushing pizza. <laughs> stop you from crushing. And, and hey, on top of this stuff the pizza yeah, from yeah. moving inside. Hey, yeah. Sure. Uh-huh. I haven't seen one of these since the video. Mm-hmm. No, they still do it now. Yeah. You know All right, guys. So we're gonna finish eating this pizza. We're gonna sharpen these blades up, and uh, that's pretty much it for the day. We're done. I'm about to just hang out with them for a bit, knock the rest of this stuff out, and you know, I hope everybody has a great weekend. And I look forward to seeing everybody Monday.